हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू एडू टैप गाइज तो आई एम बैक विद अनदर सेशन फॉर आर बी आई ग्रेड बी डिस्क्रिप्टिव इंग्लिश और प्रेसी राइटिंग फॉर फेज टू नो आई वेरी वेल नो दैट यू हैव बीन ईगरली वेटिंग और आई कैन से डेस्परेटली वेटिंग फॉर योर रिजल्ट फॉर फेज वन बट सी वी वर ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्टिंग इट टू बी अनाउंस टूडे but uh, i don't know luckily or unluckily it was not announced today so let's keep our fingers crossed so guys uh, welcome to the session hello tina hello ajay hello aman <laughs> so i can see very funny comments there telling <laughs> that rbi kya kar raha hai bevkuf hai kya matlab <clears throat> obviously they, they should have uh, you know they should have announced the result by now but uh, i don't know what's going on so see this is what happens guys that's why i was telling you at uh, you know in yesterday's session that you know instead of waiting for the result try to learn something new that would help you not in this exam maybe unluckily but in any other exam for that matter right <clears throat> so guys before we begin don't forget to like the session and if you want the pdfs of these sessions you can join our telegram group the link for which has been given in the description of the video right <clears throat> so uh, any doubts any uh, questions regarding essay writing <clears throat> so ajay was asking me current trending topics along problems of development is asked yes you should prepare for such topics ajay for example uh, you know sustainable development uh, rural urban migration is a good topic then um, obviously spending on uh, health sector and uh, your defense sector is a uh, is an important topic So you can look into these topics, and uh, you should start preparing um, in this uh, direction. Uh, sir, IBPS RRB notifications out, registrations. Ah, uh, chalo, Aditya. At least you have some good news. Uh, rest of us are desperately waiting for the result for phase one, and I hope everything turns out to be good. Guys, don't worry. Everything will will work out. If it's good, then you will make it. Okay. So don't bother about that. Don't worry about that. Just give it your best. Okay. So don't bother about that. Don't worry about that. Just give it your best. and start preparing for phase 2 okay chalo guys so today we will be uh, we will be discussing pressy writing so pressy writing is a very important uh, composition in itself right so before i start the session guys uh, i would like to ask all of you guys honestly if you uh, you know just ask yourself have you ever written a pressy have you ever tried a pressy in your life i'm not saying summary summary and pressy are two very different things so you can just answer me in a uh, in a simple yes or no that uh, yes sir i have tried writing a pressy uh, or i have not or do i know what pressy what basically pressy entails right is it just shortening of the passage what needs to be done there do you know all that or you know you still are a, a beginner at this स्कूल टाइम स्कूल टाइम में तो रवि समरी लिखवाते थे आई डोंट आई डोंट थिंक प्रेसी यूज टू बी uh you know part of your syllabi but if you did i think that's uh that's commendable but we'll learn something uh, you know insightful very insightful today uh all right are we panchdi please don't um uh, use vulgar language yaar theek hai ye koi platform nahi hai vulgar language use karne ka okay i aap rbi ke aspirants ho at least aap se to ye expect nahi karta at least main to nahi karta theek hai तो प्लीज़ डोंट डोंट यूज सच वर्ड्स वहाँ पे सभी हैं यहाँ पे ठीक है गर्ल्स भी हैं बॉयज़ भी हैं सो डोंट डू दैट यार ठीक है गुस्सा आता है सोचो आपसे ज़्यादा मुझे गुस्सा आ रहा होगा यार पंचदीप बिकॉज uh, सोचो सारे दिन से वेट कर रहे हैं हर पाँच पाँच दस दस मिनट में चेक कर रहे हैं रिफ्रेश करके नहीं आ रहा बिकॉज वी आर कंसर्न के यार होना चाहिए था बच्चों के लिए आना चाहिए बीस दिन भी नहीं बचे हैं ढंग से और अभी रिजल्ट नहीं आया तो फिर कब आएगा तो मतलब आई नो फ्रस्ट्रेशन बिल्ड्स अप but this is your test guys that's what you have to you know go through okay chalo good thank you to so, chalo guys shuru karte hain fir aaj ka pressy writing to so, pressy writing ke bare mein kuch cheeze hain jo aapko pata honi chahiye there are some basics that you should know about it aur fir is session ke end mein hum ek uh, sample pressy bhi solve karke dekhenge ke actually mein jab hum pressy likhe to usme kya cheez include karna hai kaise exclude karna hai aur kaise ek ek organic aur ek achhi pressy aap likh sakte ho right All right, don't worry, Ravi. You know these two days will definitely count. 
चलो गैस तो आई विल स्टार्ट विद द द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रेसी अ प्रेसी इज बेसिकली यू नो अ क्लियर कॉम्पैक्ट एंड कंडेंस्ड ब्रीफ तो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड गाइस इट्स अ ब्रीफ ऑफ अ पैसेज दैट मींस दिस इज बेसिकली क्रक्स ऑफ द होल पैसेज वेयर यू डू नॉट इंक्लूड एनी स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिफिक्स यू डू नॉट इंक्लूड एनी यू नो एनी पर्टिकुलर नेम और एनी पर्टिकुलर डेटा और फैक्ट यू जस्ट हाईलाइट द द कोर ऑफ द पैसेज that is what what is called a pressy what you have been taught all along in the name of a pressy which is actually a summary right that you have to shorten the passage in one third length and you take out important sentences from the passage and then you connect them together and then write them right that is what has i think what has been taught to you in the name of pressy but that is not a pressy so please understand this carefully a pressy is a clear compact condensed brief of a passage by exclusion of an important text and filtration of key points in writer's own words now this is again very important a pressy is supposed to be in your own words guys before you start uh, learning how to write a pressy you must understand the psychology of the question guys why are they asking you to write a pressy in this paper right are they going to make you write a pressy while you will be working in the organization absolutely not but what is the what is the point then the point is it is a uh, it is a very unique type of articulation it is a very unique type of composition in itself which requires a lot of practice it is not that any layman can do this you can just sit down and do this it doesn't work that way pressy has to be in your own words that means you cannot copy paste anything from the passage you just have to take the relevant information keep the crux of the passage and then make an organic paragraph on your own right where you do not copy paste anything you do not reuse any text from the passage and you write whatever has been conveyed by the author in that passage in your own words within those limited words and uh, along with giving it a apt title right so a pressy is a clear compact condensed brief of a passage by exclusion of unimportant text and filtration of key points in the writer's own words now pressy writing is regarded as a very important kind of composition because it develops one's capacity to discriminate between the essential and the non essential that is the point they want to see can you discriminate between you know essential and a non essential and the non essential right anybody can shorten the the passage in one third that is not too difficult a task but the point is can you you know uh, <clears throat> can you intentionally uh, uh, discriminate or let's say uh, segregate important and unimportant separately that is what they want to see and it has to be organic in your own words right now <clears throat> uh certain key points to remember plan or outline of the original passage or article is called a pressy basically the outline what i hope you know what outline means right so you know what uh, you know what the passage is revolving around that is what is called a pressy now you only have to keep the abstract of the passage now what is the meaning of the word abstract the crux right what has been intentionally inferred in the passage by the author that is called the pressy or the abstract of the passage so you have to only keep the abstract of the passage that means you have to exclude any specifics any name any number any data any any specific uh, you know point is to be removed and you only have to keep the background the backdrop of the passage right selection of the most prominent phrases and sentences is very important and after that you form a chain of facts and connect to make an organic whole right uh yes bright nabards interviews only in english uh unless you have chosen a different language uh, from the in the very beginning right you will have to take the paper in that language and then you will you will have to appear for the interview in the same language okay yeah, but we are uh, right now working uh, we are right now preparing for rbi i'll take your doubts for nabard or any other exam you know at a different platform all right tell okay, us so this is the definition of a pressy now now let's see what is the difference between a pressy and a summary that that is what you need to understand guys so i'll i'll give you both the uh, scenarios you know the pressy and the summary let's read about it a pressy is basically a small miniature a small miniature of any piece of writing which provides the absolute main point of that writing or article can be described as a pressy getting this guys so the absolute main point of a passage the central theme of a passage it can be defined as a pressy 
Now it must consist of an appropriate heading. Now Prezi always has a title on the top and also maintains the order of the original piece written. Order means it has to be in the same order, right? Whatever the passage is conveying, you have to convey the same uh, thing, but in your own words. The essential points are usually mentioned here in Prezi. The essential points are usually mentioned here in Prezi. The tone of the speech used is the same throughout the read. That means whatever tone uh, the author has used in the passage, the same tone has to be used by you while writing a Prezi. Now, in Prezi, the conclusion is a must at the end, which will justify the other main points described. So, your Prezi should have an introduction, proper introduction, first sentence. It must have, uh, it must highlight the central theme, the highlights of the passage, and then it also should give a conclusion at the end. So, this is what is called a Prezi, right? Now, what is a summary on the other hand? Let's read about summary as well. A summary can be described as a brief of all the recorded points in any article. It can be described as a brief. They are very similar actually. But there is, there is a subtle difference that you need to understand. It can be described as a brief of all the recorded points. So, Prezi only highlights the central point, right? So, it must highlight the, the crux of the passage. Whereas, summary is a brief of all the recorded points. So, in summary, you highlight all the points, all the important points. But in Prezi, you only discuss what? Only the central theme of the passage. Now, any passage or article with a shortened variation depicts a summary, where the headline is necessarily not so important. So, in a summary, you don't compulsorily give a title. Even uh, conclusion is not compulsory in a summary. The, uh, you know, the not only headline, but also the order needs to be, needs not to be maintained. In a summary, you also need not maintain the order, covering all the important points. So, summary is basically covering all the important points. The tone used in a summary varies and necessarily is not needed to be in order. The summary can also skip the conclusion and mean the same. So this is the subtle difference between a pressy and a summary. Or if I want to put it in a very simple term. So, I try to put it this way. Let's say uh, the, the, the passage that is given to you, that is a human body, right? So, look at this example, guys. So, Prezi, uh, you know, uh, okay, let's, let's look at this. If the passage that is given to you is, uh, is a human body, so what we can call a Prezi and what we, call a, what we can call a summary. Summary is, uh, you know, the skeleton of the body, right? Where you discuss all the important points, skull, torso, Rib cage, right? Then your thighs, shin bones, uh, limbs, and everything. So that is summary. But pressy, on the other hand, can be called the soul of the passage. Getting getting the difference. So summary has to highlight all the important points, whereas pressy only focuses on the central theme of the passage. Guys, is, is this understood to everyone? What I'm trying to convey to you here? Yes, absolutely, Ravi. Uh, press is always written in one paragraph only. No bullet points, no numberings, no nothing. It is only written in one organic paragraph. Uh, Abhinav, you can drop us an email uh, or you can call us uh, on the number that is given at the bottom of your screen. 8146207241 during the office hours or you can just drop us an email at this address. Hello at the rate at and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Okay, Abhinav? I, I got your point. See, it's not too difficult a task. RBI and, uh, you know, basically RRB, the initial exam is almost similar except for the finance management and economy section. So, if you start reading that, I think it will become easy. But before that, you need to start working towards your English as well. Right. So, start with the reading habit. Read editorials every day. Right. That will improve your English, your vocabulary as well as your control over the grammar. Got it? Yes, guys, so has everyone understood what is the basic difference between a pressy and a summary is? So, now, there are certain similarities as well between a pressy and a summary, guys. Both the pressy and the summary provide the zest of the original work in a shortened form, right? One may not contain the headings or the conclusions, but the point remains the same, that you have to highlight or the point, the, cent the, you know, the important points of the passage. Now, no addition of idea occurs. So, in a pressy or in a summary, you cannot add any idea into that. The facts remain the same, all without changing. No factual ideas slide into the article. And third, if we see in a structured way, we can mark that one third of both the original text in pressy and summary, maintain the order and complete the sentence's meaning. 
guys there are similarity obviously they look very similar prescient summary up till now there are students who would say sir according to me up till now prescient sum summary were synonymous to each other right to hame to prescient aur summary ek hi cheez lagti thi hame lagta tha wahi to hai summary prescient wahi to hota hai but they are two very different things all right guys so this is what i wanted to highlight to you and how to practice a presi every day the best way to practice a presi every day i'll i'll give you this uh, insight guys every morning you read editorials articles from newspapers or magazines or online so what you do is you read one editorial right and carefully right read the editorial uh, you know in order to remember the you know remember the important points after reading the editorial or article just keep it aside for half an hour just do your thing do your chores go take a shower or go have your lunch or breakfast or dinner whatever it is and then come back after after that after half an hour and then whatever you remember try to put it in one paragraph what how, what will happen this way you will forget the the you know uh, the specifics of the passage you will forget the specific words or data that is used and whatever you remember inside your head that will be called the organic presi of the passage all right everyone Uh, no harish it's not because of that it's because the content that is provided now if you make mistakes if you do not complete your paper on time if you do not follow the structure of the answers that is required you will definitely score very low you know students have this uh, you know have this notion that you know if you just finish the paper in descriptive english you will at least get decent marks it doesn't work that way so this is you know a wake up call for everyone guys please take this descriptive english section very seriously because every year 40% of the students fail due to lack of you know practice in uh, descriptive english section so this is very very important guys result ayush we were also expecting the result to be declared today but hopefully kal tak ho jaye shayad so the let's keep your fingers crossed and let's keep on working hard okay so that is the defin that was the definition of a presi and the difference between a presi and a summary now what do you need to remember what are the key points of a presi now you can note it down these are very important points to remember now guys the what is whatever is the highlight of the passage <clears throat> for example i'll give you a scenario you know let's say there is a uh, there is a passage about the farmers protesting against the the farm laws remember a, a year ago right the farmers had been protesting for more than one year against the the farm laws and there were many uh, disputes between the government and the farmers right so there is a passage about that you know what happened why were the why were these laws amended and what were the pro provocation and why only northern indian states were very uh, keen on you know presenting the you know presenting the revolt or you know they were fighting it fighting against it right so let's say that is the passage so the central theme was the three contentious farm laws right so the central theme or the crux of the whole passage should be the title so guys your title should be aptly thought of it should not be a complete sentence you know you have you read titles every day in, in newspapers right it should be catchy it should be uh, relevant and it should highlight the whole passage in couple of words right now second avoid replication of important sentences that is very very important guys i i have seen students replicating important sentences what they do is they take one or two sentences from every paragraph and then they put them together they switch a few words here and there and they feel that okay i have made an organic presi that is not you know you you will score decent marks maybe average marks but that will not take you to the cutoff please remember that if you want to write an excellent presi please start practicing it organically so you have to avoid replication of important sentences now you must have brevity and clarity when you are presenting your presi it should be presented in a uh, in a way which is not uh, <clears throat> which is not vague it should be clear and it should have brevity in it right short and punchy now avoid direct speech, uh, speech and use indirect speech that is a good way of you know changing sentences but that's what i feel see if the if the if the sentence let's say there was a sentence given in the passage the government has decided to allocate uh, x amount of money to the rural sector so if you just use passive sentence the rural sector or let's say if you just change the uh, you know the poor sector of the of the country has been allocated a huge sum in the upcoming budget by the government you know it's it looks like a new sentence altogether so it's a good trick to use indirect speech that makes it very uh, you know that's make that that makes the sentence new 
and uh, it it doesn't feel like that you have replicated the sentences okay then inclusion of statistical information guys this is a strict no no please uh, remember this you cannot use any specific facts data statistics reports anything any name any particular quotation whatever it is right obviously guys you cannot make a new presse altogether certain words are to be used right let's say if the passage was about the farmers and the protest and the farm laws obviously you cannot change the words farmers protest farm uh, you know uh, these amendment of farm laws these are core words but the other language that has to be changed and you can you can eliminate any statistical or any concrete information that is given in the passage and you should use only you know uh, use only words to convey whatever you want to convey now next is to observe proportion that is very very important guys you know, many students get beat in this right let's say the, the passage was uh, for about 450 words right so the there was a 450 words passage uh, which was given to you and you had to make a, a press scene 150 words so what students try to do is they take you know uh, you, they do not understand how many sentences would make 150 words right so what they do is they just start writing collecting points and after you know half of the pressy they feel that okay i think i've taken too much space and i don't have ample space for the rest of the passage so please observe proportion 50 150 words means about 10 to 12 sentences because uh, guys it is a general human nature that we tend to write about 10 to 12 words per sentence so if you write 10 sentences that would take you to 120 130 words even you know maybe above or below so please remember you have you have to keep in keep it in mind that you have to write about 10 to 12 sentences to make a decent pressy now out of these 10 to 12 uh, sentences one is the introductory sentence the opening statement right that is the introduction of the pressy then one sentence is the conclusion the last statement so basically you only have to present whatever you have to present in 10 sentences right that is called the body but it, everything is written in only one paragraph itself right so please observe proportion do not make that mistake and last but not the least one third of the original passage or you have to follow the mentioned word limit so they will definitely mention you the word limit 150 or 170 or 130 whatever it is you have to follow that now in a pressy you cannot exceed the word limit guys this is a strict no no because that would lead to deduction of marks got it everyone so these are certain important key points of a pressy now uh, I would also like to highlight some do's and don'ts of a pressy writing as well. Please keep these in mind while you are writing a pressy. All right. So start the pressy with the main idea. So pressy should start. You know the first sentence, as I told you, introductory sentence. So start the pressy with the main idea, so that the reader can quickly understand the essence of the pressy. This is very important, so guys. See, in a passage, you have one whole paragraph to open your uh, passage, right? You can start. Uh, with any type of presentation you can start with a quotation or anything else but in pressy you do not have the luxury of a uh, word limit right so you start your pressy with the main idea the central theme of the passage right that the recently amended farm laws have proved to be a bone of contention between the government and the farmers right and uh, and a year long protest has been observed in the capital of the country for the same so that was the central main idea of the passage and that's how you start with the passage for it then second is while writing a pressy, make a suitable environment where all the points can be described and discussed equally. So that's what we call observe proportion, right? So you have to observe proportion for all the important ideas and you have to control it intentionally that I'm, I'll be writing 10 sentences and within those 10 sentences, I'll have to highlight all the important uh, points of the passage, right? So that is very important. Third, as a pressy is concise, compress it by using connecting words. So guys, conjunctions or connecting words are very important like try to use words like however whereas nonetheless therefore consequently subsequently uh, although yet uh, hence so these words they prove that you are writing the pressy organically that means you are writing the pressy in your own words you're not copying and pasting everything from the passage got it uh, okay, Rahul, mat karo tiyari, yaar. that's your call okay See, if you're smart what, are, what else are you doing in your spare time please start practicing this will help you in the long run this is a wrong approach if result not come to the result then don't do it if notification not come to the result then don't do it what happens Rahul? we will hear 
चलो नेक्स्ट आगे बढ़ते हैं एज अ प्रेस इज कंसाइज कंप्रेस इड बाई यूजिंग कनेक्टिंग वर्ड एंड मेक श्योर दैट स्पेस इज अवेलेबल टू रिटेन द इम्पॉर्टेंट डेटा की एंड द कंसेप्ट सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो यूज कनेक्टिंग वर्ड सो दैट यू हैव एम्पल स्पेस टू कनेक्ट एवरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ द पैसेज टू मेक एन ऑर्गेनिक प्रेस इन now removing the irrelevant data or sentences as important as writing the relevant points so filtration is very important guys so removing the irrelevant data or sentences as important as writing the relevant points thus identify the superfluous data and facts and keep the core idea of the work only in the press so any superfluous data redundant sentences or explanatory sentences have to be removed and only keep the core idea of the work in the press Now, do not form personal opinions, remarks, and criticism in a press. This is very important, guys. Cannot add or you cannot insert anything that is not given in the passage, and do not try to add opinions into it. Right? For example, if you add, uh, let's say the the sentence was given, the government has allocated this. If if and if you write the government should allocate, so those are two very different sentences, right? If the sentence was the government has allocated ten thousand crore rupees to the rural economy in the upcoming budget. and if you write the government should allocate now these are two very different sentences and that becomes your opinion don't do that keep the tone similar same in the passage all right now always take the fact and data that is given in the paragraph only that's what i was talking about you know whatever has been mentioned in the passage is to be presented in a press anything beyond the passage cannot be used uh, to frame a press right all right do not reuse text from the passage that's what i meant when i said do not copy and paste Because that will lead to deduction of marks and use synonyms to present the sentence in your own words, right? For example, if they have given the government has allocated, if you can use the government has designated, you know, if you say ten thousand crore rupees, you can say monetary uh, support to the rural economy. You can say poor economy or the backward sector. So that's how you use synonyms to rephrase the same thing and present the same idea, but in your own words. guys has uh, whosoever is watching right now guys have you understood uh, what pressy entails and what uh, basically it requires obviously you would require some practice for this but have you understood the basic idea of a pressy writing you can just answer uh, me in a, in a short yes or no or if you have any doubts any queries please feel free to otherwise let's uh, let's try to solve a pass read a passage and then let's try to see what a, a good pressy should look like of that passage Yes, guys. Have you basically understood the the core idea of uh, press writing? Feels feels like uh, sharing their opinions. That's very receptive of you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, okay. Let's read the passage and then let's see what can be called uh, a decent pressy for the, uh, on the basis of the passage. Okay. So here we go. Nearly six decades ago, that means sixty years ago, a professor in a Walt Disney comedy bequeathed immortality to a mental failing. that has been a recurring cause of red faces professor was bright and brainy but so single mindedly focused on high matters of science that he could never remember the more mundane asides of life including his forthcoming wedding so it was a uh, you know comedy movie which shows that you know the professor was bright and brainy but he forgot uh, you know silly things uh, including his forthcoming wedding the absent minded professor may have been a laugh riot but absent mindedness is no laughing matter this is how you open a passage so they are going to talk about you know forgetfulness absent mindedness now let's read for the at work if you misplace a file or stand up to make a presentation only to realize that your notes are in the uh, are in the drawer at home you will be deemed slack and clearly unfit for what hr departments describe as higher responsibility so at workplace if you forget something you will be frowned upon right people will criticize you a present day society with its fetish about practical efficiency does not readily forgive us the serious forgetters right the word uh, goes around that our memory has more holes than a mosquito net okay that's true uh, the extended family 
will then stand on the sidelines and snigger while the spouse, out of wifely concern, suggests con uh, consulting the friendly neighborhood neurologist just in case it's an early warning sign of dementia. Relax, it's nothing of that sort. So, people started taking, you know, forgetfulness, absent mindedness as a serious disease in today's world. That's what they are trying to convey now. Let's read further, guys. Listen to the experts. George Grossberg, Director of uh, Geriatric uh, Psychology at St. Louis University School of Medicine says, someone who misplaces his keys, gets frustrated <clears throat> and runs, uh, runs around looking for them is just absent-minded. On the other hand, a person who misplaces his or her keys doesn't know that they are lost and after they are found forgets what they are for. That's cause for concern. So if you haven't gone that far, you are in safe territory. That's true. We of the forgetful fraternity also have historian come philosopher Yuval Noah Harari. I think he is the author of the famous novel uh, Sapiens, right? So, we of the forgetful, forgetful fraternity also have historian come philosopher Yuval Noah Harari on our side. He says that the human mind is not designed to think like a filing cabinet. A normal mind does not move like a regiment on parade. Rather, like a Jasprit Bumrah run up, our line of thought hops stops and pops as a memory as memory surrenders to our poet-like imagination. <clears throat> there are many ways of polishing a rusty memory. These range from regular meditation to declutter your top story to eating brain food like almonds every morning. If you tend to forget the names of people you have met, you are told to repeat the name under your breath till your mind has got it pat. More discretion is advised. Suppose you are repeating Roop Rani, make sure your wife is not within earshot. He is uh, funny as sarcastic at the same point of time. If none of this works, do not despair. Not everything in this world is of lasting significance. Why carry around the burden of unpleasant remembrances or even or the uh, overhang of guilt? As Khalil Gibran said, forgetfulness is a form of freedom. Right. <clears throat> All right, Abhinav, we will do, definitely. So guys, this was the passage. Now, this was about 460 70 words. So, what could be called a decent pressy? 120 130 words for this passage. So, let me read that out to you. And please do share your opinions. How did you feel? Uh, did, did you feel that, uh, you know, the pressy was right, or you, you know, you could have added something, or you could have done anything better, or, you know, it was good, bad, whatever you want? Please do share your inputs. Right. So, the, uh, the title that has been given. This passage is the curious case of forgetfulness. Short, catchy, <clears throat> and intriguing at the same point of time, highlighting the same point. Now let's read the pressy guys. One paragraph without any black, uh, you know, anything specific. Let's look what can be called a pressy. A popular character in a Walt Disney film puts forward the issue of forgetful forgetfulness in a funny manner. See, however, see this is very important. You know, using conjunctions that makes your uh, pressy organic. So, a popular character in a Walt Disney movie, uh, Walt Disney film puts forward the issue of forgetfulness in a funny manner. However, this forgetfulness can cause great professional damage to a person at the workplace. The present day society does not tolerate forgetfulness as an ailment and recommends one seeks professional help. Experts from the field of medicine attribute forgetfulness as not serious if it is a case of absent mindedness but warn against the extreme ones. Uh, philosophers have agreed that human mind is not designed like a filing cabinet for memories. There are many methods to improve one's memory, ranging from meditation, eating almonds and decluttering one's mind. However, one must not have guilt over the issue of forgetfulness as there is not much of great significance in the world. Right. So guys, please do share your inputs. Uh, how, was this pressy organic? Did you feel that... It has been written after reading the passage carefully and after careful comprehension of the passage. Or if you have any inputs, please feel free to share, guys. And I would like to uh, see your inputs, guys. It uh, should be two-way understanding, not one-way, guys. So instead of bothering about results so much, bother about your preparation. Let's say result is declared after a week from today. I'm, I'm just saying, not true, but let's say. Then what are you going to do? Sit idle for one week. That would be foolish, right? Uh, you know, be receptive, be proactive in your approach and start working towards. Yes, guys, uh, any inputs for this pressy? Good, bad, average, decent, uh, 
uh, excellent, whatever you wish to you know, comment, you can do so, guys. Otherwise, I'll just wrap up the session for you and I think let's call it a day. I think many of you are just uh, praying uh, to God for the result. Nobody wants to entertain any thoughts into it. I have such receptive students with me. Uh, I'm blessed, guys. <laughs> All right. I don't know what else to say. Any okay, right. Any other doubts? Any other queries regarding pressy writing? Anything you wish to share uh, or anything you wish to ask, please feel free to do so, guys. Uh, this would definitely require a lot of practice. So you have good 20 days. Start with today. Every day write one or two pressies. I think you will be ready on the exam day. If you do that, starting from today, I think you, you should be in the safe. You can expect decent score of 20, 21, 22 marks if you just start practicing it every day. As I told you in the beginning, read newspapers or any editorials or articles. Then keep the article or editorial away from you for at least half an hour so that you forget the specifics. And then sit on a computer and type down whatever you remember in your own way of presentation, highlighting the core points of the passage. That is what we call an organic pressing, right? Anything else you wish to ask guys? Any other doubts, any other queries you have, please feel free to drop a, uh, drop a mail to us on this address, hello at the rate edutab.co.in or you can just call us on this number during the office hours, 8146207241. And uh, if you wish to join our Telegram group, if you want the PDFs of these sessions, you can join our Telegram channel, the link for which has been given in the description of the video. So, guys, any, 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 anyone wants to ask anything? Anyone uh, interested in um, any queries? Anything you wish to ask regarding press writing? Uh, please feel free to do so. Else, let's start practicing in this direction. Ready? All right, guys, then let's call it a day. My perception regarding the press. Okay, okay, my uncle. Yeah, thank you. I just read your. Uh, yes, it was informative. Uh, thank you. Uh, see, you. that is what you have to understand. See, he only highlighted the important points. See, some points are elaborated, superfluous information is there, sarcasm was there, but he omitted everything that was not of use and he kept only the important points, and that is the requirement of a press. Thank you for the input, man. Hello, guys. Uh, let's wrap it up. Then I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, 6 p.m. for a session for reading comprehension. So that is, again, very important composition in itself. And you do need to know a few things uh, about reading comprehension. So I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same place. Uh, don't forget to like the session. Don't forget to share it, guys. It may prove beneficial to someone out there. Right. So thank you once again for joining in for your precious time. And I wish... The result is out soon and it uh, it turns out to be fruitful and, you know, a happy result for all of you, right? So, God bless you. All the very best. Keep your fingers crossed and uh, keep on working hard in the right direction, guys. So, thank you once again. See you again tomorrow and happy learning to all of you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.